Um, commentary by the Township Committee. Um, Ms. Johnson. Yes, I would like to start by saying that um, I do agree with Ms. Wilson on one thing, and that is on the identification of the property as opposed to simply by lot and block, because I actually had to go look it up and, and make sure that I understood what there was. Is there any particular objection or reason why we can't identify the property by some name that would be better identifiable? I think that she does make a fair point. Okay, thank you, Mr. Mills. Um, I, I just wanted to applaud the, all the firefighters for coming out uh, in, in uh, support of PJ Esposito. He's a, a great guy and a wonderful, uh, comes from a wonderful family, he's got a wonderful addition to our uh, firefighting community. A quick thank you to Tom Luby on the Board of Adjustment. Uh, he's been <clears> for, I'm not sure quite how many years, but many years. Oh. And uh, he has moved to Randolph. We all very much appreciate Mr. Luby's many contributions, and we're going to miss him on the board. And since this is the last meeting before the election, um, and this is being televised, I would like to say for whoever listens to it, don't not vote. Um, you know, I'm not going to take any political stance here, one way or the other, but voting is just so important. You know, who you vote for is your business behind the curtain, but uh, we had a 20%, maybe less than 20% turnout in the primary, which is disgraceful for this great nation. It really is. So I hope everyone comes out and um, votes and does their duty in that respect. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Mr. Nutt. I agree with this house house member and at least one regard that uh, I can't wait until November 9th <laughs> because this election is just it's disgraceful and to any kids who are growing up and think that this is the way to do it and watching this um, every four years I get excited to watch the, the news stations and debates and not this year so so I to thank you for your comments I'm sorry that to some extent you were cut off because you discussed things that maybe can't be discussed in this one, but I certainly do agree with you uh, about the level of rancor at the uh, national level. And that'll do it for you? Yeah, will do it. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, yes, I want to congratulate Tom Luby um, for his uh, years of service and the adjustment. He was uh, uh, is a fantastic guy, and, and I know I'm um, working with the board adjustment on a couple of properties over the years. He is uh, he was was always so well prepared and so um, <clears throat> meticulous in his in his preparation to hear the, the matters before him and, and uh, we will definitely miss him on that level. Um, I just wanted to point out um, PJ Esposito tonight, congratulations on becoming a career firefighter, but I don't know if everybody caught this, but the, the junior firefighter program, which was started a few years ago, um, was something that Phil um, or PJ participated in. It's a program that um, you can start at the age of 14. Um, between the ages of 14 and 16, you can actually be at the firehouses and learn about um, how to become a fireman, what the requirements are, and then at the age of 16, you can go to fire school and then uh, get an opportunity to, to finally ride on the trucks um, when they go out to, to call. So um, it's a great program. I hope more uh, young people take advantage of that program because that program, as you can see, builds for um, our career and our volunteer firemen in Morris Township, which uh, we're very proud to have five uh, active firehouses. So um, congratulations to PJ and thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Um, Mr. Mancuso. Thank you, sir. I also reiterate the uh, congratulations to uh, Mr. Esposito. It's just wonderful to see the show of support that he had here with uh, all of his now fellow firefighters. Uh, I, also, uh, uh, go back to Louise's point about don't forget to get out and vote. It's very, very important. It's critical. And um, the one thing I was very, very proud of is I saw that blue line down Woodland Avenue. And I was very, very, very proud of seeing that. It just gave you a very, very good feeling. And everybody who asks about it, can we explain it? It seems to be very, very good that we did it. And Fourthly, uh, Tom Luby, uh, as well as being a member of the uh, Board of Adjustment, has been a, just a great friend and a good uh, uh, person who everyone in the township really cares about and turns to for guidance, et cetera, so I'm going to miss him a lot. Thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, just a couple things, not to reiterate what's been said, but uh, you know, again, Tom Luby, I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, wish uh, you know Tom well and, and his new move off to Randolph, and we'll certainly miss him. And again, congrats, congrats to PG Esposito. Uh, two other items. Uh, number one, leaf collection is, as we all know, is beginning. Just make sure we try to keep leaves from uh, entering into any of the uh, storm drainage systems. Um, it, you know, it does it, to make sure when you put them out at the curb, they're supposed to be on your property. And if they're not, make sure you don't clog any of the storm drains. Um, uh, Fluke Clinic um, here at Town Hall on October the 25th, November the 4th. Uh, from 1 to 3 p.m. as a reminder and uh, and then lastly I, I just really want to uh, reiterate um, to the public again that close and I'm going to have a Mr. Mills comment uh, because I, I really feel it's important and the accusation that was made uh, was certainly unfounded uh, that we make backroom deals and we talk about stuff that should be talked about in front of the public in the back room. Um, and we should bring out the stuff that's talked about in the back room to the public. Quote, unquote. Uh, what is done and talked about in closed session, again, contracts, any litigation, property acquisition, and personnel issues. Information that cannot be talked about in the public. Mr. Mills, is there anything that we ever talk about? And I know because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, call, I'm gonna have, I want it to go on the record um, because it is important, and it's this kind of stuff that just takes what we do and um, and and basically just buries it and gives it a bad name. There is nothing that is negotiated or talked about in the back room. So if you wouldn't mind, Mr. Mills, and I know there are specific laws that um, are um, on the books that re de delegate what we can and cannot talk about. Is that correct? Yes. If you wouldn't mind uh, just kind of on the record uh, ensuring that we adhere to every letter of the law. I, I'd be delighted. The regulation that the mayor is talking about is known as the Open Public Meetings Act, and it, it basically provides in the affirmative that everything the, government, the governing body does must be discussed, and I'll use Ms. Wilson's, Wilson's word, transparent, manner, which is to say in front of all of you. There are, however, certain exceptions which deal primarily with things where they either could prove embarrassing to affected individuals, which is personnel, perhaps a disciplinary matter, perhaps, or, or could otherwise prove disadvantageous, advantageous to the municipality, for example, a contract negotiation with a local union or a contract negotiation potentially with a vendor, uh, or the possibility of acquiring a piece of property where if word became out uh, amongst the public, there could be a, uh, a scramble to obtain a piece of property to the disadvantage of the municipality. Four basic categories of exceptions that Mayor Caffrey outlined that uh, provide for the discussion of those matters in closed session, subject to the ultimate caveat that the public be made aware of the actions to be taken at the appropriate time, meaning when, at such point, that the necessity of the lack of transparency has been transcended. So it's my job to be, if you will, the gatekeeper. I try and exercise it as best I can. Do I miss some? Probably, but they're minutia and of no great moment. But all significant conventions are always observed. And of, of the other town that I represent, and this town, both governing bodies are very sensitive to the need to keep things out in the public venue. So we do our best. Thank you. I, I just wanted to get that out on the record to uh, ensure to the public um, when our transparency is questioned um, that we are adhering to every letter of the law. So on that note, I have uh, nothing further. Um,